Welcome back to another episode of Between Two Lockboxes. I am your host, the most handsome man in real estate, Dan O'Neill, and we are presented by the least most handsome man in real estate, and that is the broke agent. Speaking of handsome, today with us we have an absolute stud. He runs a top producing team in the San Diego region, a big brain within the industry, sports betting savant, husband and father of two, Jason Cassidy. Jason, welcome to the show. Hell yeah, thanks for having me. I love that intro. Please pardon my, uh, my attire today. We are here at day three in Vegas, so I've the suit there. is out the window. I am hanging on by a thread right I'm, now. I'm just happy you're still here. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Um, so Jason, we're getting right into it. What do you think the future is with the uh, metaverse in real estate? I mean, there's a lot to that, right? I think right now you see, you see stuff like all these land grabs that are happening, people spending $20 million on these spots. Uh, I think that, I, I see the metaverse as like, um, it's like an advertising revenue source, right? So like imagine the metaverse, you have this little second life little thing. For, uh, let's talk about that for a second. Second life had a 20 year head start on all this. So basically within the metaverse, there's like 10,000 plots of land and there's some that are more popular than the other. Mm -hmm. And so in the future, they're gonna do like concerts and shit, right? Imagine Kanye putting on a concert for 20,000 people at MGM. Yeah. Well, in the metaverse, he could do that for 2 million people. In the, in the metaverse. Well, but on, isn't it just like on Zoom? Kind of-ish, but you could have like this little avatar and you can go sit there. So now imagine you own the little plot that has the concert hall where Kanye is performing and you get to sell the ad space for that concert. So oh. you see how that's becoming like an advertising, a revenue source. I don't right. think it's gonna be a place, like when you think of like real estate in the metaverse, there's not like a house we're gonna go live in, right? right? But there's gonna be broker I mean, you, trends. You, you literally can't. You can't, it's, it's yeah, in right. the metaverse, but yeah. there's gonna be plots of land that gets sold within the metaverse that you can advertise on. That's what I think the metaverse is. <laughs> so I've, I've noticed that you've upped your content game lately and you're posting way more reels. What is your favorite type of content to produce? Uh, single cam stuff is the easiest. I think that's my favorite right now. Okay. Uh, vlog content's cool too, it just takes a full day. You have people in your face the whole day, you know what I mean? So, uh, dude, our vlogs take months. Exactly, it takes, it takes forever. And yeah. so I think single cam shots, the storytelling, it's a little bit more casual. Um, it's not scripted, so it's someone, you know, my videographer now will ask me a question, like what's your best advice for a new real estate agent? And I can just answer the question. Mm -hmm. Single cam, you can edit it in a couple of days and it's back. That's, that's the best, that's the okay. easiest. And I have a quick little secret here. Myself and the entire BAM crew are gonna be in Dallas in August at Tom Ferry Summit. It is gonna be the most fun, the most educational, and the most value conference that you've ever been to in your life. We are gonna be there all week. Some of your favorite personalities, myself, Eric Simon, The Broke Agent, Byron, Taya DiCarlo, Tom Tool. We're gonna to be there all week, masterminding, filming videos, coming up with content, and having fun and learning. So make sure you get your tickets because prices are going up, and our link is the cheapest and best way to get your tickets. So Tom Ferry Success Summit is gonna be in August in Dallas. Make sure you're there. Come hang out with us all week and have some fun. Uh, what's your worst experience you've ever had with a client? Uh, or, or most like embarrassing experience? So I told my most embarrassing one actually on a reel recently where I was showing a client, it was early on, it was a, it was a lease listing too, so it wasn't even a sale. Mm -hmm. Adds insult to injury right there. But I was walking through this condo building and I was showing by the pool and I actually slipped and fell into the pool. Oh my God, and so, like full suit? No, no, I was full suited up, but I caught myself. So basically it was my whole left leg, like up to just past my knee. And then the problem is we still had two more showings. So oh I had to like my. get into the, like, like get into the car, drive around, show, the, show, show two more clients, and that was my most embarrassing one. I've had bad clients too, though. I mean, like, yeah. but those are just more nuanced, annoying stuff, but that's the most embarrassing. So for those watching who have no clue about NFTs, yep. kind of me, really, so really you're speaking to me here, okay. can you explain what they are and how they are going to affect the future of real estate? That's two loaded questions, right? NFTs, I think the best description for them is it's something that's non-fungible. So fungible, like a dollar bill is, fun is fungible, right? I can give you a dollar and you can give me a dollar. They're interchangeable. They both represent one dollar, but it doesn't yeah. matter which one dollar bill you have, it's worth a dollar. Yeah. Something that's non-fungible cannot be duplicated. It can't be, so usually, and now when you see an NFT, it's a piece of art, right. or some sort of digital drawing or some sort of token or some sort of thing like that. Um, and so there could be a, you know, a one of five version, a one of one version, or maybe a one of 10,000 version, but it's something that can't be duplicated theoretically. Mm -hmm. um, and so once you kind of grasp onto that, the, then you can start to see, see how that could help out in, in real estate. So theoretically, a house is a one of one uh, item too, right? So if you can tokenize a house, make a, draw a picture of it or some sort of representation, and then you can sell that on the blockchain chain just like you do a picture, mm -hmm. but now it's the deed to the house. Right. Then eventually you can start to like transact that way. Or oh. maybe even so, like a split it up, like Picasso, that new company, yep. you could theoretically split it up into tenths and everybody owns one tenth of the house. You could mm -hmm. do it that way too. I can see that coming in. 
Um, and then there's the whole blockchain part where it's like there's it's more secure and transparent. So I could see that maybe replacing like title companies or something because then you don't need them. You can see everything on the blockchain. Right. Something something along those lines. Are, are there any cool NFT projects that you've seen so far in real estate with, within no, the industry? No, not really in real estate per se. Right. Um, you know what I mean? The Propy, which is a is a, a company that did an NFT sale of a house in like Ukraine or something. Like they're trying. They're they're the first ones I've seen that actually trying to like sell houses via that. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Of the Cassidy team, what's yep. one thing that you wish you knew back when you had started it that you know now? Uh, you can spend a lot of money on like lead gen and if you're not going to call those leads in the first five minutes, mm -hmm. if you're not like a beast at, at follow up, don't waste your money. Just just build your brand up through video content, stuff like that. Right. I probably wasted five figures, at least tens of thousands of dollars on like lead gen that didn't convert that they probably end up actually bought a house with the next person because I didn't follow up hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. You spend I, a lot of money. That. Yeah. Jason, thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it very much. Salute. Let's go. Uh, let's go play some blackjack, huh? That's a wrap. Let's go Islanders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah.